and you'll see results. You can't just show up one day, come to church one day and expect something. It don't work that way. If it was that easy, everybody would be a believer in this world today. Are you with me? Woo! Come on. You know, we, the Bible said we're not to, to uh, talk about our brothers and sisters or whatever, the anointed ones or whatever. You know, sometimes we take it the wrong way. Hey, where you been, sister? You haven't been here in so long, brother. Where you been? Everybody's busy in this world in 2022. Ain't that right, sister? It ain't like old school days. Oh, my God. You got It's crazy. But thank God we got Jesus. Amen? Amen. Okay, are you guys there? Yeah. Mark chapter 3, verse 7. Jesus and his disciples went out to the lake, followed by a huge crowd from all over. Now, I'm talking, I'm not talking these little cities or whatever. I'm talking big cities in Baghdad. Are you guys familiar with what I'm saying? When Jesus walked, it was all, all in Baghdad. I mean, I don't want to get off on that because I don't want you to get your mind on that. I want you to just keep in mind Peter, James, and John, the three core group by Jesus kept them the three core group. They was with him from the gate. Are you with me? So large crowds came out to the lake from Galilee, Judah, Jerusalem. Now I'm talking big cities. And how many people's in them cities? Thousands. You look on the news in Baghdad and uh, what, what's some other countries that we fight? Syria and all them. You're, they show the city. There's motorcycles going this way. 50 million motorcycles. Cars. They don't, I don't even think they have laws in them streets. Amen? Thousands of people. They got more people than we. Millions of people. Are you with me? Came from far as east as the Jordan River. Even as far as Tyra and Sidon. Sidon, that's one of the seas in Baghdad. The news about his miracles. You got that. Are you with me? The news about miracles. So you're not just talking about a couple people. You're talking about thousands of people that's hearing about this guy about miracles. That's the guy we serve today. Jesus. Miracles. You went out of your situation, your lifestyle, whatever it is, Believe in miracles. That's the God we serve. That's the God I serve. I serve the same God that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Peter, James, and John served. Woo! Somebody's going to get that. Are you with me, brother? We got power over all demon, over all evilness. It must flee when you break up the name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. They came from all over, every city, far east of the Jordan River. Numbers of people came to see him for their self. Can you believe this? Get a couple of your friends, and you tell your friends, we're going to see Jesus on the lakefront. Who's this Jesus? Well, let's go check him out. How many cities I named? Seven, eight, there's seven, eight of them. As far as the Jordan River. Walking to see Jesus live. Like me right here. Are you, are you with me? Let me say it again. Let me move on. As far as the Jordan River. From all these seven cities. People's walking for hundreds of miles. To come and see Jesus like me right here right now. Preaching his anointed word. He's just using me as anointed vessel. And I want to receive it just like you guys. In Jesus name. Amen. Jesus in person. Come on, church. Jesus in person. Pastor, get your back. Let's go. We're going to go see Jesus at the lake front. Amen. Right? Hey, are you with me? Live. In flesh. 2,000 years ago, sis. When he only walked three and a half years of his ministry. Yeah. Woo! Powerful. Amen? Glory. Man, that had to be an experience. Are you with me? Jesus, in verse 9, Jesus instructed his disciples to bring around a boat and to have it ready in case he was crowded off the beachfront thing. 
So he already knew. Are you with me? We better get a boat. Because these people are saying, if he's the Messiah, I want healing. I want you to heal my sick daughter. I want you to heal my daughter that's on drugs. Whatever it could be. Whatever circumstances. Let's go check him out. He's going to be at the lake. Right? Let's go check him out. Can you imagine the people and Jesus and there's a boat behind them? I want you guys to picture this now. Rewind. We're all there 2,000 years ago. We made it to the lakefront. Amen? Jesus is there. The boat's there. I don't know how many disciples he had. Right? They said his disciples. So he could have, I don't know, more than 12, 50, 100. I don't know. We're going to find out. Just in case he had to say, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, he's healing the person and they're trying to touch him and, and it gets too crowded. He wants to get in the boat to paddle back so, so paddle back out so he can calm down, so he can come back to shore and do healing and whatever it is he's doing. Amen? Are you with me? Is that powerful or what? Jesus in the flesh? Man. Praise the Lord. Come, there you go. Come on, Pastor. It's something that, amen. Amen. I mean, I don't know how close you could get to Jesus. But as soon as you start getting closer, I bet you you're falling out in the spirit. Of, oh, come on, somebody. I bet you you're, you're, you ain't going to touch You're falling out. You're, gonna, you're getting healed whenever you're going. Because there's too many of you. Are you guys with me? Right? We hear people say, oh, my brother's on drugs. My sister, she won't stop. It's the same thing, same routine. He's going to be back doing this again. You see? That, that, there's no power in that. Right? You're not even speaking uh, 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 good, righteous. You're not speaking nothing of God. You're speaking everything of the devil into existence. Amen? Are you with me? Yeah. Woo! Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. We need a picture like we're there alive. And I'm going to try to do my best. With God, we're going to better all receive this. Amen? So, the boat's there. Jesus is here. No matter, no matter, no matter how many disciples he has. Amen? Thousands and thousands of people are trying to touch him and get healing and everything back in the day. Amen? You know, they had a lot of diseases and, and uh, stuff back in them days. You know, they didn't have the medicine and the doctors we do nowadays. Amen? Okay. Jesus instructed to get the disciples to bring the boat around to have it ready in case the crowded off the beach. There have been many healings that day. As a result, many sick people were crowding around him, trying to touch him. And whenever, whenever those possessed by evil spirits caught sight of him, they would fall down in front of him, sh circling, shaking, so on and so on. You are the Son of God. Woo! Are you with me? So them evil spirits, demons, knew, oh, okay, this is the Messiah. He is. He is the anointed one. <laughs> Amen? They thought they could come, they couldn't even get close to him. The demons, the evil that's in them, God already is taking, taking it out of him, rebuking it out of him. Amen? 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 Right? Glory? Glory. Amen. But Jesus, verse 12. But Jesus strictly warned them not to say who he was. Okay, here we go. Verse 13. Afterward. After all that happened, Jesus went up to the mountain and called the ones he wanted to go with him. And they came to him. Then he selected 12 of them to be his regular companions. Are you with me? Okay, everybody knows the 12 disciples that he picked, amen? amen? I don't have much time to talk about all 12 of them, so I'm going to talk about the three main core group 
of the disciples, Peter, James, and John. Are you with me? Peter, James, and John were the three core group. Were among the earliest of Jesus' disciples who, who he had with him the longest. But the Bible does not say why he chose Peter, James, and John. Are you with me? To be his inner circle. These three men were present with Jesus during his special events. Woo! I hope I get this finished. I might not. Now, you imagine the earliest when Jesus was doing his healings. Amen? Peter, James, and John was there present, following with Jesus. Them three before Jesus. Seeing everything that's happening in the flesh like us right now. That must have been so powerful. Right before your eyes, like... Oh, wow. Woo! I mean, come on now. You know, in, in the latest church now, we have people falling out in spirits, amen? We believe we get, they get cast, you know, some, if they have demons in them or possessed, we, get, we rebuke the demon and cast them out to have darkness. They make funny noises, form at the mouth, right? Well, we're talking about some crazy stuff back then. I bet you Peter, James, and John seen live with their own eyes in the flesh. 2,000 years ago with the man, the Messiah, Jesus. Amen? Wow. Powerful. Powerful. Okay. Peter. I'm going to talk about Peter. Peter. You know what his occupation was? He was just an old fisherman that Jesus picked. Just a fisherman. You know, you, who goes and fishes that Lake of Mellon? Or Park Park or whatever. Yeah? Just the old fisherman he picked. Wow. Crazy, huh? His occupation, Peter was a fisherman. His outstanding characteristic was bold in Jesus. Now what I mean about bold, Peter, willing to meet danger or to take risks. That's why I believe personally that Jesus picked Peter because of his skills in that area. Because he's the one that was probably in front of Jesus, in the back of Jesus, on the side, always had his head on a swivel, making sure no one could get to Jesus because he would pull out a sword. How many remember his sword in the garden when the Roman soldiers came? And Peter, they came to get Jesus, and he, his instinct just went, whew, you ain't getting near Jesus. So I believe, personally, that Jesus picked Peter to be his head road, uh, 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 huh? his uh, disciple, amen? Because Peter, his reaction, you ain't not going to get close to Jesus, amen? Are you with me? Jesus knew that he would go all the way the highest in danger or take any risk. Peter was right there ready for action. Amen? He was one of the court in the core three group of disciples. Recognized Jesus as the Messiah. Are you with me? He repented, preached Pentecost, and he was a leader of the Jerusalem church. Baptized Gentiles. What Jesus said about him. He named Peter. The rock. He named Peter the rock. Called him. Satan. Jesus to. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Named Peter the rock. What a nickname huh. And the key lesson. Jesus. Jesus was returned. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh, he forgave Peter three times. Amen. Because Peter denied him three times. Amen. Stay there. Okay, let's go to James. He also was a fisherman. Deeply committed to Jesus. James committed. Loyal and willing to give your time and energy to something that you believe in. Are you with me? Amen? Amen. 
He was the number two in the core group. Asked Jesus to place his honor in, the, in his kingdom. Wanted to call fire down to destroy the village. First disciple to be murdered. Amen. John, very loving, tender, caring, kind, gentle, friendly. Called James and John, sons of thunder. Said he would fish for people. Would drink the cup Jesus drank. Would take care of Jesus, his mother, after Jesus' death. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Peter was the first of the disciples to experience faith in Jesus. James and John willingness to be murdered because of their faith. That's powerful. Amen. So no matter what, how they was going to die, they was going to take it. All the way till the wheels fall off. Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. You know, that's how we have to be. We have to be with our faith beyond and beyond. Amen? To be bold. Amen. To be committed. Right? To be very loving. Just like these apostles. Amen? Amen? Strong faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And they were fishermen of men. You know, we have to be fishers of men too, amen? To reach souls, amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you with me? You know how powerful it was to be one of the three of them in them days that Jesus picked out of the twelve. Man, they seen some some uh, amazing, amazing, amazing miracles. I mean, I'm talking about people being sick beyond measure. Amen. Are you with me? So I encourage you be bold, committed, amen, and very loving. Let's stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Prayer, you can come on up. We'll be glad to pray with you. I'll wait a few minutes. If not, I'll give you a prayer. Any unspoken, raise your hand. Amen. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Secret prayers or anything? Amen. Amen. We just thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. Thank you for those that are here. And thank you for those that couldn't make it, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that we would be fishers of the men, Lord. That we would be committed to you, Lord. That we would be bold to you, Lord. And that we would be deeply in love with you, Lord Jesus. We love, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that as we leave your house today, that you continue to work through us and out of us, Lord. 
Lord, all those that couldn't make it today, Lord Jesus, we pray that they would get a word today somehow, Lord Jesus. And we pray that they would make it here next Thursday, next Wednesday, next Sunday, Lord. Lord, we pray for traveling mercies, Lord Jesus, and bless those that are going through stuff, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. That you would give them strength, Lord, to overcome whatever they're going through, Lord Jesus. To know that with your help, they can get through, Lord. Without a doubt, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your presence here, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray all the brick walls or stumbling blocks that is in front of some of us today, Lord Jesus, that you break them right now in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you break every chain right now in Jesus' name, Lord Jesus. Every chain that's holding us down to do your will, Lord, I pray you break it in Jesus' name. Break it in Jesus' name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any prayer, sister? You sure you want prayer? You sure? Okay. I'll pray with you if you want.